Hello everyone, hello YouTube, this is Felipe, you got the salto and today I'm here again with an, another amazing dance tip for you, samba dancer who is willing to work on your That is very very important and that many people have struggles with which is basically how and what to do with your hands when you're dancing samba now i must confess when i started doing these dance tips i was like hmm, am i giving my secrets away is people going to stop coming to my classes because of this and actually i think that this information that i'm giving to you is so important and basic that it's not going to cut away from what I have to say in class. This is actually just going to help me because whenever you come to my class, I'm like, didn't you watch the video about the turkey? Didn't you watch the video about active and passive movements? Didn't you watch the video about your hands? And then I can always tell you to go watch it after the class. Um, so, you know, I think this is positive for everyone. Good. So your hands, um, it's important to know when you're taking classes with different people, um, different trainers, especially trainers from Rio, from Sao Paulo or from another, from another country, that everyone has a different saying about hands. Okay, I'm going to try to summarize most of the ones that I know um, to give you different tips. Okay, on a general note, when you're dancing samba, your hands they are not there to catch the attention of your public. So hands are very, um, are sort of a second deal, but still very important because it's there, you're seeing. They, are, they have the power to screw up a picture. They have the power to make you look strange, heavy, delicate, smooth. So hands, even though they do play, play a second role, like a, the uh, supportive role, they are very, very important, okay? So keep that in mind, different trainers, different hand styles. Um, I like to say that I basically let all my students free to do hands how they would like, as long as it looks good. Of course, that's then a matter of, you know, perception of beauty, but I think we all have a notion that something like this doesn't really look good for summer, maybe for Michael Jackson, but not for the samba. Yeah? Um, very good. So, if you go and you take a class, for example, um, with Carlinhos or some other trainers in Rio, you will see that they prefer to have very, very easy hands. So, what do you have to do? Put your hands together like this and separate them. So, that's it. A very flat hand with closed thumb. Because if you open your thumb, this already looks strange and you're dancing samba like this or posing like this or like this, it looks strange. So it's just a flat hand with closed thumb and you can also put on your leg when you're posing or hold one in your, in your, on your hip and stretch the other one out. Or when you're just dancing samba that you can keep a very flat hand. Okay, so this is one thing that you can do if you're not sure about how to do your hands, you can always keep them flat. Press them together in front of you, make sure that your thumbs are closed and spread them apart and that you should have your one varied variety of samba hands. Um, this is also very good because whenever you're dancing you're not really going to um, have strange formations on your pictures. You really, if you have a straight, a straight hand, a flat hand, um, this actually makes your pictures look nice. Now, um, some people, like myself, prefer to have something more elaborate. Now, what I like to do is to actually get the middle finger that I have here, bring it down a little bit, like this, and press my Indicator index. We say it in Portuguese, indi 
indicator, so the index finger, there you go, any of that, um, press the knuckles basically together with the middle one. So I just press them together. It looks something like this from the side, you see? And I bring in my pinky, like this. So they, it's not standing out like if I was drinking tea in London. So I try to keep my fingers together, but I still bring the middle one down a little bit. Now, the biggest challenge here is my thumb. What am I going to do with it? I actually cup it, I bring it towards the center of my palm like this. See? Trying to make my hand look narrow. This is what I do. This has a very nice uh, static feeling to chew it when, I'm, when it's stretched out in a pose, for example, or even on the other side, or just when I'm dancing samba, I like to keep hand, my hand like this. It's a little more elaborated, it's not as flat and easy, but it also does the deal. I have to tell you, it's very hard, because whenever you get tired, you start relaxing, but usually it stays in a sort of like acceptable way. I remember though, whenever I took classes in Rio sometimes, my teacher would scream at me like, eh, your hands are ugly. You probably know which teacher, the good teacher, but anyway, <laughs> let's leave that off topic. Um, so yes, work in your hands, find that it's something, something that is comfortable to you. But just remember that having very elaborate hands is going to take away from the attention of the public. I actually see many people do this turn here when dancing sambas, which is, you know, once or twice it can actually be cute, but not more than this. Why? Because especially when you're dancing samba very fast, it sort of looks like you're trying to slit your own throat. We saw this um, last year in a festival that I'm not, also not going to name. Uh, I'm also not going to name the name of the dancer. But I've seen this and I was like, hmm, what's up? Anyway, just a thought. And finally, um, try to remember when you rotate your hands, to rotate it be below your elbow. You can, as I said, people have different uh, strategies and, and, and rules. Some people cross them in front of their body, like this. I prefer not to do this because this, um, sort of hides the costume, whatever I'm wearing, and things can get stuck and then I rip them off. So I prefer to keep my arms next to me, close to my rib cage over here. And when I'm bringing them in, I prefer to bring them in in a way that um, my palm is not going to face forward. Because I have a beautiful picture of me dancing on a festival once, and the photographer got exactly this, and it looks like I'm just waving to the people. And it was not my intention, so I, I was really upset. But it was not his fault, it was my fault. So just keep all of these thoughts in mind. Um, but that's it. Basically, hands are there to help you and not to disturb you or not to disturb your image. Okay? Keep them flat or elaborate them a little bit. Remember to cut in your, th your thumb and your pinky, not to have very wild hands and not to evolve into Narnia hands, as Carlinhos say. And um, have a wonderful time. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you again soon with another video from our beautiful summer world. Bye.